Hello, Frenzy Fighter 9 here. Another edition of the Million Dollar Club. Let's take you to the last hit that I made. I'll be posting these pretty regularly from now on. Uh, since I since I have a YouTube channel now, it's nothing fancy. These videos are not fancy, as you can see. I want to bring up a couple of points about this. When you see up to the top left, there's a million point one to be had if I get it all. Um, at this particular point, all I needed was 3,000 Dark Elixir to be able to upgrade my my Barbarian King to level 25. That's that's an important upgrade because it's it's a five. It's an an ability upgrade. So um, I was not going for stars this time. I was going for loot, and this was enough Dark Elixir. And I almost always hit from the side of the Dark Elixir just so that I can take that storage out first, even if I get nothing else. Um, so I am trying to get Black Elixir today. And so I'm going to hit from that side. I'm going to lay down one spell first. I usually lay down one here and one here to get into the middle to try to take the middle out. Um, his middle's pretty strong, and he's got a maxed out queen in there. A 23 king, which is not that strong. And then there's a lot of empty pockets around the middle, which means usually... It means Teslas or bombs or something, uh, a surprise for you. So I didn't go particularly for the middle. And also you'll notice that he's got, I call this the storage layout, the storage and elixir, uh, elixir and gold collector layout, where you have weapons on the outside and then you've got storages and collectors, houses, things that are not defenses. Um, on the inner part of this circle here so there's really no way to connect the dots uh, from defense to defense all the way into the middle so you're probably not going to get the middle with this layout um, unless you get a little bit lucky well I'm not going for the middle I'm going for the loot so let's unpause it I'm going to hit from the bottom and I'm going to save my second jump spell just to see what happens and uh, I'm going to notice in a minute that my P.E.K.K.A.s go around the top left. I had three P.E.K.K.A.s this particular battle. I actually had one too many. So I tried the jump spell right here to try to get something in there to kill these extra defenses and hoping to get that Golem in there to absorb some of this damage and he did. So I'm going to zoom out because my army's really spreading out. So this is what I want. I use the other Rage over here. I usually use it in the middle but I'm going for loot this time of course. Um, my king's ability is already used. He's going to die pretty fast. But up here to the top left, you see that I've still got a lot of hit points to absorb damage. So I start releasing some of my archers up there, um, trying to get to these storages. And then also down here, I've got a couple of golems and some wizards left. And I am spreading around my archers. I do take a lot of archers, um, usually 18, to clean up with. That's a lot of archers. Um, but you see that that things are going really well. The defenses at the top right are shooting at things over here. So my archers came in to try to take these storages and things out up here at the top and collectors. I'm going to get almost all of them. I'm going to get almost this entire uh, loot run and I'm not going to leave a whole lot. So this was a very, very, very good hit um, for what I was going for. I got every piece of dark that there was and I still got the million. I didn't get the other 115,000 as you can see, but I got a whole lot. And uh, I just stopped it right there. So there it is. Very, very good hit, very timely hit, and a very smart way to hit for loot. 